I'm going to show you how to use the Screencastify extension to create an animated GIF. Now a GIF, and yes, it's said that way for all you GIFers out there, a GIF is an animated image. It's kind of like a video with no audio to it. It's a great tool if you wanted to give directions or show a video in something like a Google document or even a website or a slide that you don't need audio with and you just want it to be all the options of like a, an image. So a GIF is nothing more than an image that has motion in it. It will not have sound, so don't count on any verbal cues or anything like that. But it is a great tool, and I use it a lot with um, directions and things like that for a quick little, here's where the arrow goes, or find the arrow here, or go to this place. It makes it really easy to follow those directions because it's like a video, but it's just an image. So I'm going to make an example here of just how to add a font to your Google account. So I'm going to go up to the Screencastify extension that I've already installed. I'm going to choose what I want to record. Now, I'm going to leave the microphone on, even though a GIF has no audio. Because Screencastify records video and audio together, I can use the video that I'm going to make right now as a video later on if I want. But maybe I really just want it to be a GIF right now. But if that option ever came up, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have recorded the audio, I've already got it. So I will have both a video and a GIF. So I would leave that on. I'm going to record my entire desktop. I'm going to hit the record button. It'll give me my countdown. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind, GIFs do have to be short. Now, some programs limit it to 20 seconds. You can get away with a little bit longer, but you will know if you go too long, even Screencastify will not be able to make an animated GIF out of it. The file is just too big. So really kind of go for that 20 second mark. Um, you can go a little bit longer, you just got to make the image a little smaller. And I'll kind of show that a little later. But in your mind, kind of think a GIF needs to be 20 seconds or less. There is some leeway on that. But I mean, just kind of keep that under consideration. So I'm going to click the Share button. And Screencastify is going to come up and say, OK, you're recording. Two, one. All right, so here's how you add a font to your Google account. Go right where your normal fonts are at. Hit the drop down arrow. And click on the More Fonts button. Now there's over a thousand here to choose from, so maybe I want to add this font right here in. All I need to do is go to the OK button, and it is now part of my font list. So I could change any of the fonts I want, click on it, and I just installed it. It's right there. Boom. There you go. It's that easy. I'm going to go to the Stop button down here, and that stopped the Screencastify recording. So it's going to open up in a new tab. And I'm going to name this Google Font. So I can preview here and listen to it. Click on the More Font. But I don't really need to. And my, my clip happens to be 35 seconds long. So let's see if this is too big. Normally, I would go over here to the top right to the Share link, copy that, put it into a document, or however I wanted to share it. That's normally what I do. Um, and it's really easy if you have, because Screencastify puts all of the videos you record into a folder. I make that folder anyone with the link can, can view. All I got to do is copy that link and it's shareable. It's so easy. Sometimes I put it in Google Classroom. So these are probably where you're already using Screencastify, but we're making a GIF. It's a little bit different. I need to go all the way to the bottom where it says Export Video. I'm going to click that little drop down, and these are all the choices I can export that video. YouTube, I can download it as a file and use it, but I don't want the video, I'm making a GIF. So I'm going to click the Export GIF button. Now this slider says how big do you want the video to be, the GIF to be. The bigger the video or the GIF, the more it takes. And if it gets too big, it will not be able to do it. So if I slide the slider to be bigger, you'll see what happens there. The file is too big for a GIF. So just slide that down and maybe keep it wherever. It doesn't really matter because you can make the, the image bigger in your document. It's just you're going to lose some resolution. So the higher the number, the better the resolution. But eventually you run out of GIF space, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to go down to where it lets me do it and maybe knock it down just a touch more and click the Export button. Down in this bottom right corner, you're going to see the progress of your GIF. And then it's done creating it. And it says right down here, download GIF. 
I'm going to click that download button and then I can go back to my normal document. Now wherever you download it, I generally download it to my desktops, but since I just downloaded it sitting down here in the bottom of Chrome, I can go back to that document. Because it's a GIF, I can embed it into the document just by dragging it up here and letting go or upload it as an image, however you choose to get your GIF in. And now it's nothing more than an animated image. It's super easy for kiddos to follow these steps now because it says, here's a GIF showing how to install a Google font and they can watch how to do that. We can't put videos in documents, but you can put a GIF. So it's a great tool to share how to do things or maybe clear up some directions in a video type format into a document, a website, a Google slide. You can put a GIF anywhere that an image can be placed.